Black Lives Matter. If you are going to a Black Lives Matter protest or vigil, or just want to sign for any event that you're going to, I am offering up a service, and it's only for people that live in Massachusetts, because that's where I'm located, unless you're willing to come to Massachusetts if you live in like Rhode Island or New Hampshire or something. But basically, I will be making protest signs for people who would like one, and all you have to do is send me $15 via Venmo, and you can tell me what you want the sign to say or anything like that, but 100% of proceeds will be going to Black Lives Matter. So it's going to be $15 per side, so if you want a double-sided sign as the one I'm making right here is, that'll be $30, and after I donate, I'll send you a receipt so you can see that I donated all of the proceeds. But this is just something I wanted to do because I know a lot of people want signs for their protests and a lot of people don't really like making signs and I have no problem making signs. I'm happy to support the cause. So if you would like a sign, it could say really anything as long as it's in support of Black Lives Matter. I'd love to make it for you. The only requirement, as I mentioned, is that you live in Massachusetts. So this is the sign I made right here and the war on people of color. So this is just really important to me because the war on drugs was a war on people of color. Slavery, war on people of color. We have had a war on people of color in this country for over 400 years, if not longer. So how long will this genocide of black and brown people continue before we change history? So that's why I made this sign. Um, the next sign that I'm making was actually for a friend and she told me what she wanted on the sign. And I just wanted to emphasize that even if you're just going to a small vigil as I did, if you don't live near a city or feel comfortable going all the way into the city for a rather larger protest, those vigils still matter. That is really important. And it's important that you advocate for what you believe in. And the best way to do that, in my opinion, is to have a sign with you. So I'm doing these on recycled cardboard from cardboard boxes. And I did goof up there, so I've had to cover it. I accidentally goofed up on this one twice, but I'm not afraid to show that because everyone makes mistakes. So finding the spacing on the word violence was very difficult here. So you're going to see me goof up another time. But yeah, I just hope that everyone's doing something in support of Black Lives Matter. I originally was a little skeptical of all the protests, only in the sense that coronavirus is still a huge problem in the United States. And of that, 60 to 85 percent of the deaths in most states of coronavirus are people of color and black people. So I was skeptical because I don't want more black people to get coronavirus and to risk dying. But at the same time, as long as everyone's taking the precautions and if you live with someone who's at risk, if you're taking extra, extra precautions, I think it'll be fine because this is history in the making and we need to use our voice and this is essential. I had someone from my hometown make a status comparing the tens of thousands of people gathering together for Black Lives Matter protest, being like, if it's so safe for them to gather, why can't I get my, um, why can't I go out to dinner and have, you know, a nice time out at a restaurant? And it's like, that is so not essential. This is essential. You having the luxury of eating out is just that, a luxury. It's a privilege. Fighting for black people's rights and for them to stop murdering us like cockroaches on the street is essential. So this sign I made for another friend, it says defund the police. So that's another uh, movement or petition or I guess you could say movement that's going alongside with Black Lives Matter. And if you go to the Black Lives Matter website, I believe there's the petition available you can sign there. But defund the police is all about how the police are completely overfunded and the reason they are overfunded is to complete, continue the mass incarceration of people of color, brown and black people in this country. So we need to defund the police, basically. The next sign I made was actually on the back of the end the war on people of color sign, which was the sign that I brought to the vigil. And this one just says stop lynching 1619 to question mark. Um, lynching has been going on in this country since black people were brought to this country. Whether it's Jim Crow law, whether it's slavery, 
whether it's the KKK hunting down and killing black people. Lynching is alive and well, police are doing it day by day, and we need to stop the lynching of people of color. It's never ended, it's only transformed. And as long as, oh, so I actually messed up right here. I was gonna write stop lynching us now, and then I didn't have enough room for the W. <laughs> So I switched it to stop lynching 1619 to question mark because 1619 is when they brought slaves to America, when black people first came to America. This genocide of brown and black people has been going on for over 400 years. And I don't want anyone to think that it's ended because it's never ended. They've just changed it. They've just made us think that we're getting freedom when we haven't. So this sign is all about that. And I'm glad I made this one because I feel very passionately about it. So those are the signs I made. If you would like a sign, please don't hesitate to reach out. And I'm going to be posting a video on the vigil I went to. So please stay tuned and tell your friends if you have any friends living in Massachusetts because I'm sure a lot of people want signs right now. And I would love to find a way to use my art to donate money towards those who need it. So it would likely be going towards the Black Lives Matter Fund. Um, I might even do some towards the bail fund, like the Massachusetts bail fund. I forget exactly what it's called, but you donate money to help get people out of, you know, help, help bail people out that wouldn't be able to otherwise. So thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I hope that this has motivated you to make a sign or to contact me because I'd love to help you out. So please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much.